Hello there everybody, my name is Michael Gray, and today I am playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We just finished Chapter 2, so now we get to see another scene of the x knots and Princess Peach. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Bodley Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, x -Nops. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We know of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Bogley Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. Wait, wait, wait. The bad guys got a Crystal Star in Rogueport? Well, does that mean the bad guys have one Crystal Star? Uh... Oh, uh, okay, so Mario has two crystal stars, the bad guys have one, and there are four more crystal stars left to find. As I suspected, Mario must have the map. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Wow, Grotus showing off his fancy vocabulary! Alright. Oh, Mario, did you even read the email I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the ball again? What will become of me? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. But I really don't want to know. Alright, Princess Peach. If you weren't watching the last time we saw Princess Peach, Princess Peach is in a romantic subplot. There is a computer named Tech who has fallen desperately in love with the princess. But can she love him back? We'll find out. Did Mario get the mail I sent him? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So, what do you want from me today? Do you want to learn more about love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? Excuse me, computer? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have to keep surveillance on you. Bless I love you, so I love looking at you. You are so beautiful, and I want to dance with you. There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together is part of love. I know it. How does the princess know it? Um, who do you love, Princess Peach? Is it Mario? Yeah, I, I don't know who else she could possibly love. Maybe one of the Toads. I don't know. She loves Luigi. <laughs> I'm not sure. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait a minute. Dance with you? That's bizarre. I mean, you're a computer. You don't even have any good dance moves! Would this be an acceptable substitute? Oh my goodness! Is that me? Alright, I guess. I can dance with myself. This is gonna be really weird, but okay! Alright, so finally, uh, something close to gameplay. Press the buttons when they appear on the screen. A button. A button. A 
X. B. Yeah, very simple. So who could the princess love? Because um, the princess has not officially started dating Mario yet at this point in the Mario series. I mean, I'm sure, you know, everybody's already saying, whoa, the princess loves Mario. They've been saying that from day one, okay? Because, you know, he's been working so hard to save her, but does she really love Mario? You know, every time he shows up, it seems like she's in another castle, right? You know, maybe she doesn't really like him. Maybe she's just stringing him along. And maybe she's just stringing tech along so she can send emails. Yeah, you know, maybe she doesn't really love tech. Maybe she just loves his email capabilities. Tech. Tech, I really hope you don't get your heart broken by the princess. I feel bad for Tech. No, I feel really bad for him. Oh well. You're a weird computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Okay, well, hmm, interesting. I think she had fun. She was smiling, so I think she had fun. I think Tech had fun. Maybe there is hope for their relationship after all. Maybe there is. You know, you can't expect them to fall in love overnight. It's going to take time, and this is only the second time they've spoken to each other. It makes sense that they aren't completely in love yet. And here is Bowser. What was the Bowser voice I had? Oh, it was something crazy. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. Princess Peach was spotted in the town. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools won't know what's coming to them. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. And speaking of super... We're going to have a super parody of Super Mario Brothers for the NES. It's a fun little challenge. You know, it's basically platforming your way through Super Mario Brothers. Although really it's not much of a challenge. Basically what you have to do is get two of those stake things. And then you can just walk all the way right to the exit. So yeah, how about that, everybody? We had a fun little challenge. Really wasn't much of a challenge. Basically, I just went right the whole time. But it, it was still fun. It sort of resembles the first Super Mario Brothers game. Pretty cool, right? At least Bowser is doing something for once. You know, we're doing something besides just pressing the A button to go through the dialogue. Because that's basically been, like, 95% of this video is listening to dialogue. All right. Hmm, what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. That's my Bowser voice. Um, I'm trying to make him growly, you know. He's growling, grrr, but it doesn't seem to be. <laughs> he sounds more like a Muppet than a big, scary bad guy. Oh, well. Lord Bowser, over there! The princess! Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy! I found you, my princess! I, Bowser the Mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment! You're coming to my castle with me! <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> wow, I see, I see. How refined, how elegant. Awesome. I guess I can live with a silent princess. I'm the only one who's allowed to talk because my voice is awesome. No! 
My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! Huh? Uh, poster? Oh my goodness me, didn't see that coming. Great, just great! Now I look like the huge Maddie King of GUYS WHO TALK TO POSTERS! Oh well. Okay, so that's it for Bowser, that's it for Princess Peach, and in the next video we will resume with Mario.